Hey, welcome to another On Deck Baseball video. I uh, had a good conversation with somebody uh, actually a couple of months ago, and they brought up a good point about the score sheets and how the left-hand side, there is uh, a lot of writing involved in pr preparing your score sheet to play a game. Um, I wanted to point out that this is actually just used uh, until somebody gets used to playing a game. It's there for beginners. Um, you can continue to using it, using it if you like. Uh, it is a very good, quick reference to have as far as like the field and attributes, the arm speed, and all that. Um, I don't use it in the leagues that we play, um, but I have used it in the gameplay videos. And I'm going to show you a little bit of why and what we do instead. Um, so this is our preferred way to set up our teams. Uh, we have an eight by five binder. It's a mini binder, three ring binder here. Uh, and this fits everything from the game in it, the score sheets, the cards, the record trackers, uh, fatigue charts, injury charts, everything fits into an eight by five, three ring mini binder. Um, and that was done on purpose. So that for those of you that keep uh, track of your statistics and very thorough job for your historical data for any leagues that you set up, um, it makes tracking very easy uh, for those purposes. So in this three ring mini binder, as you see, you open it up. Uh, the way we set it up is we have a record tracker and I have this book set up for the uh, gameplay videos that I've used as examples and that will be posted on the official website. Um, we have the record tracker here for the Knights. Uh, you can tell that the record for the Knights is two and two, so they're playing 500 so far in the gameplay video series that I'm doing. Uh, the next page I have the rosters, and we're going to go into the rosters in a little bit in a different video just to explain how that works. Um, but you also see that they can kind of go front and back. So it's very nice to have these 8x5 sheets, uh, these plastic sheets, and I actually have what they are here. Uh, mini binder sheet protectors, I believe I got these through Target, uh, and I think yeah, you have Avery brand as well. Um, so after the roster, we have our schedule. Uh, so everything is very easy to take out of the sleeves and to mark and track your days off and put in the records and the win-loss for each day of the schedule. So then after the schedule, what I have is the starting lineup. Um, so the reason why I say that this is for beginners, until you get used to the game, I would say to continue using this. However, once you're in the game and you're playing a game, if you have your team set up in binders like this, everything is very easily referenced uh, with a quick turn of a page. So instead of having your teams in a piles and, you know, kind of like the way I play in the gameplay videos, all you have to have is two binders, one for each team, and you kind of flip to the guy that you need to look up the field in for or the speed or a chart on the back. Everything is easily referenced in a binder like this, set up like this. So I have my starting lineup here. And we're going to get through that. After my starting lineup, after the ninth batter, you'll see that I have my fatigue chart for my pitchers. So everything is easily referenced there if I got to go to the bullpen or anything. And then I have my pitchers. I got my starting five in front. And then I have my closer first and then the other relievers behind him. So everything is very easily navigatable in a book like this. Um, these are my backup players here. So everybody that fills out the rest of the roster. And then behind all the rest of the roster, I keep the score sheets. So the score sheets are very easily accessed in the back here if you want to do stats. What I do is when I'm keeping stats, all I do is just flip the binder like this. I'll uh, have it in front of my keyboard, uh, actually behind my keyboard in front of the monitor, and I just go line by line and I enter my stats into the computer, uh, which will give me, uh, with my tracking sheet that I have, it will give me the averages, cumulative home runs, RBIs, and everything. Um, so it's a very easy way to have it set up in a binder like this. Uh, this is a suggested way to set up your teams. Um, of course, you can set them up in piles if you prefer to do that. Uh, these are available from what I've seen at Target. You can also buy them in bulk on Amazon uh, as well as sheet protectors. Um, but it is a nifty way to have the teams organized, and this is how we prefer to do it in all the leagues that we've played. So I hope that kind of clears up as to how the uh, quick reference guides work on the score sheets. Um, again, they're there for you to kind of get used to the game. It is for beginners. Um, as you progress through the game, you may 
you know, feel like you like having them there or you may feel like it's not needed. So it's really up to the user. So I appreciate you spending some time with me and I hope that clears up any questions you guys have. If you have any more, just leave it in the comments below. Thank you.